Gemini. Welcome to my sacred space of love and healing. It's Bunny here. And we are going to do your bonus love reading, okay? <clears throat> Let me clear your space really quickly with a sound bell. Okay, I just went ahead and paused that so I could do a sound clearing because I want to make sure this space is perfectly perfect for you, Gemini. All right, so <clears throat> just be aware that Gemini, these these bonus love reads, ooh, sorry about that, bumped my camera. These bonus love reads do tend to be a bit long, so <clears throat> you're going to want to set aside a lot of time to watch this reading because sometimes they can get up to an hour long and sometimes even longer. I have a lot of love decks and I tend to be very thorough with these bonus love reads and, and I use every single one of my love decks. So they do have a tendency to get a bit long. All right, so let's go ahead and dive right in. <clears throat> so I'm going to start out with the Sacred Bee Tarot first. Now this is just a standard tarot deck. I want to see, you know, what we're going to be starting the reading out, what we're going to be focusing on in regards to the love department. And so we're going to go from there, okay? <clears throat> so. Let's just dive right in. What do we have for Gemini? Oops. What happened there? Drop some of my cards. All right. Gemini. Love department. I'm going to go ahead and invite my guides. My star family, my ancestors, and my archangels. <clears throat> Those that would like to join me. Ooh, that flew out, Gemini. I'm also going to invite Gemini's guides. And um, the Geminis that watch me, their guides, their archangels, their star family, and their ancestors, okay? All are welcome in this sacred space while I do this reading. Go ahead and put a golden light of protective love and light around this space as we work. No negative entities are allowed here as we work. Thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages for Gemini. Okay. We have a lot of discs here. <laughs> Which usually has to do with money, but of course they can do with love as well. Let's get one more. Can we focus on love, please? I do see a lot of money cards coming out for you, Gemini. So for some of you... <laughs> You know, it's funny because I'm asking about love and yet Spirit is throwing out all sorts of money cards. So um, we have collaborative efforts, right, in regards to your finances. It could be in the love department as well. <laughs> Just it's funny. They, you have the ten of discs here, which is like wealth. But what sticks out to me is we have two of discs, which is change, and ten of discs. Now ten is the number of change as well. So there's something about your love life right now that is shifting, okay? Um, and we have three of this, which is effort, okay? So in regards to your love life, something is definitely shifting, and I see it shifting in a positive direction, right? Um, there's going to be like a fresh start somewhere, or something's going to feel like a fresh start, Someone wants to put in the effort. They want to work with you to create something of substance, substantial. Um, they want to put substantial effort into this, okay? But there's something that is... There is some kind of blockage right now, Gemini, okay? Something blocking you two. So, because we have, I see that both of you at this time want to work together. You want to, 
you want a fresh start together, okay? The Two of Discs also is about being at a crossroads and wanting to make a decision as far as like where the relationship is going to go, okay? If you're seeing someone, like this is you, both of you guys wanting to work together, wanting to um, create some change in this relationship, right? Have a fresh start. But there's something in the way. Look, Eight of Swords interference. Now, the Eight of Swords is usually about being stuck in your head. You guys, um, you or your person, like creating these negative thoughts. And this could be in the past because you may have had relationships that were similar to this that didn't work out. So there could just be some limiting, limited, li <laughs> can't talk. Limiting beliefs in your head that you still haven't quite worked out yet that might be causing the blockage. But let's see. Um, why do we have the Eight of Swords here? Okay. Tell me what the block is. And I'm going to go ahead and put these cards back in in case they want to come out again. I am going to leave the Eight of Swords out though. All right, so tell me what the blockage is with this Eight of Swords. Can you tell me what the blockage is? Why do we have interference here for Gemini in the bonus library? Can you tell me what the blockage is here? Is it limiting beliefs? Is it something else? Tell me more about this blockage between these two. The chariot. So in a love reading, the chariot is, it's about someone trying to fight off something. It's about someone fighting um, desires. So in the chariot, the, it, the card is usually depicted with a man and he's got two horses and the horses are controlling this person, right? And the man has to learn to control the horses, okay? So if, if the man can control the horses then he can take control of his own destiny. However, if he allows the horses to run away with him, then he's no longer in control of his destiny. Does that make sense? So, at this point, Gemini, you have to ask yourself, who's in control here? Do you want to control your destiny? Do you want to be able to steer the horses or do you want outside factors to affect your connection? Because all in all, at the end of the day, it's your thoughts which are going to make or break this connection. Okay? Try to control your mind and try to focus on what it is that you want to see in this connection, if that makes sense. Okay. I know it's easier said than done, believe me. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna pull two more cards then we're gonna move on. All right, what else does Gemini need to know about this beautiful connection? We have the Empress. And what else? So at this time, Gemini. Wow, Four of Wands. Okay, so at. At this time, Gemini, I do see that you are really full of life and you're feeling really good about yourself. Your confidence is up. There's a lot of people that are noticing you. So 
you know, you might have someone particularly in mind, but there is definitely a lot of suitors that are trying to get your attention right now at this moment, Gemini. Um, there may be a lot of people trying to use words to like sweet talk you. And at the end of the day, you have to make sure that their words match their actions. Okay, we have four of wands, which shows me that this person that is on your mind right now, Gemini, they do want to create a stable relationship with you. Four of Wands is, you know, I like to call these, if you've been watching me for a while, you know that I call these the four pillars of stability, right? So stability would represent like a house, um, your finances in order, and having stability in your life, whether that's a house, a car, a good financial, you know, situation. Now in a relationship, it's a committed stable relationship like for example you guys would buy a home together you guys live together you create a life together you're creating stability together you're sharing your finances you're sharing your life you're sharing your home right and these flowers represent romance and and passion and joy you know it represents blossoming and growing together okay I see that you both have the same type of hopes and dreams for what it is and where you want this relationship to go. We're going to pull from the Bodhi Tarot. Oh, Lord, have mercy. <laughs> uh, let's try that again. I'm going to shuffle these. They're, they're a little bit hard to shuffle because they're in the shape of a heart. They're so fucking cute, though. That's why I love this deck. But... I don't use it very often because there tends to be a lot of negative cards in this deck. I don't know why the person who created it, maybe they were going through a bad breakup or something when they made it. But there's a lot of negative cards in here, so I don't like to use it very often. But there are a few really good ones. Follow your heart instead of your head in this situation. This will lead you to the outcome that you truly desire. So it's time to get out of your head. See, this is the second card, Gemini, that's saying to get out of your head. Stop restricting yourself with your thoughts of negativity when it comes to this relationship. Allow everything to unfold naturally. Stop focusing on the worst case scenario and just let things unfold. Your love life is improving. The work that you've put in to improve yourself is changing your beliefs and attracting the right people into your life. So you are working really hard to change those belief systems, Gemini, and it's, it's going to pay off in the end, okay? It's going to pay off in the end. So just keep focusing on what you want to happen. Focus on the feeling of the good things that you guys have already experienced so far. If you are, you know, seeing someone. And try not to let those nagging thoughts get in the way, my beautiful Geminis. All right, I'm going to pick a Power of Love card for you. I need to put the decks over here that I've already used so I don't reuse them. All right, can we get a Power of Love card for Gemini? So we have integrity. You demonstrate the truth and honesty of your soul. And you manifest love with your every action. Oh, so this is beautiful, Gemini. This is about being true to yourself, about being honest about what is important to you and showing integrity and kindness and all of these beautiful soul traits, right? Um, what is important to you, showing that to the world so that you can attract someone who has that same type of soul integrity, right? So you, you are very in touch with your soul, okay? So you focus on being loving and kind in every single situation in your life and that is why you receive such beautiful love in return, Gemini, because, you know, what you give out is what you're going to get back. It's a really beautiful energy to be in. Okay. All 
I'm not going to try not, I'm going to try not to, um, talk so much about each card. <laughs> so this reading can go by a little bit faster. Hello? All right. Sorry about that, Gemini. Mm. The bathroom is right next to the room where I'm at. <laughs> so one of my kids that use the bathroom and then they travel in packs and it's like, <laughs> so funny. All right. So let's pull some romance angels on this connection, Gemini. What do the romance angels want Gemini to know about this beautiful connection? Sorry about that background noise, Gemini. It's so funny. What do the romance angels have to say about this connection for Gemini? Attraction. So your person is very attracted to you either way. And it says you can attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So again, it's about being present in the moment and about not allowing um, your thoughts to get in the way. Just enjoy this moment and this person right now. Try not to get too in your head about, oh, what's going to happen? Where is this leading? You know what I mean? <laughs> Allow it to unfold. It's magic. All right. And then you have getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond will deepen. So, you know, you're in this beautiful phase where you're spending every moment together, learning about each other, getting to know each other. This is beautiful. It's going to help you guys get closer. And then the last card we have is let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. So take that how it resonates. I'm not sure how that's going to tie into this for you, Gemini. Um, but, you know, I would talk to the most positive people in your life, your most positive, you know, homeboys or homegirls, right? Your, your besties about this connection and allow them to lift you up and to keep you positive about this, okay? So you're not so focused on, you know, what can go wrong in this connection, <laughs> all right? Okay, what else do we have? Um, yeah, why don't we pull a um, Tarot of the Heart card for you? What do we have for Gemini? Gemini? All right, what does Gemini need to know about this beautiful connection, please? This deck is so small, so it's so hard to shuffle. What does Gemini need to know about this connection, please? The Hanged Man. All right, so let's read this, Gemini. Because I'm not going to make something up. Now, this, this, um, the Tarot of the Hearts only has major arcana cards. And so they all mean something different when it comes to love. So... I always have to read from the book because I don't really know. I don't know these cards well enough, you know, and I try to use my intuition as much as I can, but I also don't want to make something up. Okay, so it says the hanged man shows you an altered perspective on love. Tethered upside down to a tree, his pose echoes that of the Norse god Odin, who was suspended for nine days from the world ash so that he might receive the gift of prophecy. Wow. So it's about enlightenment. The Haynes man also signifies the crucifixion and the possibility of salvation. That's beautiful. Symbolized by the tree's leaves and tiny green buds. He offers renewal and a reversal. As a love situation is literally turned around. Wow. So this is about a love situation turning around. Okay. Sorry about the Gemini. I had to pause it. Um, okay, so it's, it has two different things if you're in a relationship or if you're looking for love. So if there's someone that you are in a relationship with or it's heading that way, let's read this. You will need to look at a problem from an entirely different angle, which may mean discarding a dream or revising your expectations of what a relationship looks like. You may take valuable time out, finding emotional replenishment with friends and family. Okay, now this says if you're looking for love, 
If you're playing a waiting game just now, you can hang around in limbo or more positively use your senses to explore your spiritual self. Your perspective on love may change for the better. Whatever your situation, although you feel in precarious limbo, you are secure. When the time is right, you will know what to do. So this is about seeing things from a different perspective, Gemini. Um, it's about the way you view love changing. So for example, if you're only used to being loved in a certain way, this person is going to completely change the way you see love and the way you experience love. So if you're used to, you know, due to butthole heads that treat you like absolute dog shit, <laughs> you know, this person is going to show you that there's people out there that are going to treat you like how you deserve to be treated, Gemini. Whether you're male or female, they're going to show you a different way to be loved and a different way to experience love. And that is fucking refreshing, okay? All right, we're done with that deck. <laughs> Um, where, what did I do with the other cards? What did I do with that deck? <clears throat> I just had it. Oh, it's right here. Okay. I'm just, I'm putting all the cards I've already used over here, so I don't mix them up. Okay, so let's go ahead and get a love oracle card for you. It depends on what comes out. I might draw more than one, so... We're 21 minutes in. We're making really good timing. All right. Gemini. Let's see. What do we got for Gemini? Text message. Oof. If your person hasn't reached out in a while, they for sure will. Look, we have text message and party. So... There could be a few things that happens with this. Your person might be at a party and then they might text you and say something like, I'm thinking of you or I miss you, right? Um, there's something in regards to a party. They might text you and say, hey, I'm at this party. Can you come out? There's going to be something around a text message and a party, okay? So take that. That's how it resonates, my beautiful Gemini. Um, what else? Let's pull one of these. So this is a celebration of love. And I don't really know this deck that well either. So I will use my intuition as much as I can with this, the card that comes out. And then we'll read it straight from the book. Okay. All right. What do we have for Gemini in regards to this connection? Whoa. <laughs> wow. That card flew out. Healing. Raphael, Archangel of Healing. Wow. So there's something about this connection with this person that's really healing for both of you. Look at that. Archangels behind this, you know, beautiful person. You know, this is you, Gemini, and they're healing all of your chakras. This person might like, this is going to sound crazy, but they say when you meet your twin soul and when you make love to them for the first time, they activate all of your chakras. Now, I don't know if this is true or not because I have never been in a twin flame relationship. But the energy feels very healing and very calm. Like, I feel like both of you really feel like you are each other's home. Oh, it's, it's an amazing, beautiful energy. This person might mention something like that to you as well. Like, they might say, you know, I, you feel, I feel so comfortable with you. Or, you know, um you feel like home or something like that, you know? Okay, this image, I'm going to read it from the book as well. This image celebrates our body's ability to follow its divine blueprint to heal and make itself whole. It calls us to step aside and allow the divine to flood us with healing waters on a minute-to-minute -minute basis. Oh, that's so beautiful. I have too many crystals in here. So each cell in our body is as new and pure as the creator intended. Focus on a different organ in your body for a week. Seek information about each organ to understand and marvel at how magnificent your body is. 
Flood each organ with gratitude, love, and appreciation for all that it does. And stay in that frame of mind for as long as you can. So yes, it's about healing. It's also about healing yourself and knowing that you're whole no matter what, my beautiful Gemini. Your body wants you to pay more attention to it. You're being inspired to tune into its signals and address where you are being guided to give it a little bit more care to that area. It's your earthly vehicle, so take care of it. So this is also about showing yourself some self-love, Gemini, about taking care of your body, right? It's making sure your body, mind, and soul is balanced. And everything will go more smoothly in your relationship with this person as well if you allow yourself to listen to your body, Gemini. Okay? All right. So we're done with that deck. All right. Why don't we... Okay, let's... Yeah, let's pull a tarot of sexual magic for you. We're making really good time. We're only 26 minutes in. It's so good. Ah! <laughs> Keep dropping my cards. All right, let's get. Um, let's see. What was that voice crack? What the fuck? Let's get like two cards for Gemini from this deck, please. Squirt. What's up? Okay, we have, oh, we have the chariots again. You know what this feels like, Gemini? This, it feels like this person is really trying really hard to control themselves. They might have like an urge to tell you that they're in love with you or something like that, but they hold it back. I feel like there's an, an aspect of that where both of you are concerned. Like you both might hide your feelings and pretend like you don't feel as deeply as you do about each other, if that makes sense. And four of wands again. Oh my gosh, you cannot make it up. Okay, so I have to make sure nothing shows on this and it doesn't. Um, not really. So we have the chariot and the four of wands again. So this, oh man, this is repeating energies, Gemini. Okay, so... Again, I see this relationship moving forward, okay? I see that you guys have a lot of fun together. Like, the swing shows me that, you know, when they're together sexually, like, you guys don't take each other too seriously. You might, you know, be the type of couple that when you're together and you're making love, like, something happens, you you sort of laugh about it. You know what I'm saying? Um, you guys have fun together in the bedroom, Okay. You're not afraid to, like, experiment and do things with this person. And, you know, they feel the same with you, okay? There's a lot of passion there with the fire, the flame. Look at that. So much passion. This person, too, I get this vibe from, I don't know, we could possibly be talking about a masculine, but take it how it resonates, right? Right? I feel like they have this urge to want to, like, possess you and control you. Like, not in a negative way, but, like, they almost feel, like, possessive of you. Like, in a way, like, they don't want anything to happen to you. They don't want anyone to hurt you. Like, they would be the type of person, like, if you guys are out at the bar and some guy, like, manhandles you or something. Like, they might, like, snap on them <laughs> and be like don't touch her you know like I get this feeling of if you're dealing with a masculine here they feel very protective of you Gemini they see you as like this fragile like um flower that they want to protect and look what's on the bottom of the deck ace of pentacles so this is like the card of like a new loving relationship like if you look we have three candles, right? Which represent passion. And they're all connected. It also represents the red string of fate, which is, you know, it's like a twin flame. It's it's about being connected to, the, to this person by a red thread. So there's a story 
Um, I think it's like an ancient, don't quote me on this, but I believe it's an ancient like Chinese story about like, um, so basically the person that you're meant to be with, you are attached to them by a red string. It's called the red string of fate. And the red string of fate can pull and get longer and longer and it ta can tangle up but it can never break. And so you're always connected by this red string. And that's why no matter what, you always find your way back to each other. So it's a very twin flamey type thing, right? And if you look at this card, it looks like they just got done making love and they're very satisfied in each other's company. We have a heart which represents deep emotions and they're in the bed together. Okay. Um, we're going to pull a spirit message for you. Can we get some spirit messages for Gemini as confirmations of what it is they need to hear? Spirit. My lovely, lovely spirit guides. Okay, what do we got here? Hold on one second. Okay, sorry about that, Gemini. I thought I heard somebody in the bathroom. It's really weird. Um, but nobody was in there. Okay, so I paused it right at 3131. So that might mean something for someone. If I were you, Gemini, I would look up what angel number 3131 means. If you add it up, it also equals to four, which tells me that this connection is divinely guided by the angels so the first card that i pulled was lion so take that how it resonates you might be seeing a lot of lions lions lines <laughs> lines you might be seeing a lot of lions which is your confirmation that yes this is the correct person that you're with you know some of you could be dealing with the leo um You might have a lion as a spirit animal, right? We have cancer. So that would be the zodiac sign of cancer. So maybe you have cancer in your chart. Maybe your person does. Maybe this is spirit's way of telling you to flow like water, right? You never know. Let's get two more from this deck, please. You know, you know oh, look at this, Gemini. That's what I was looking for. Fate fate it's meant to be you know my venus is in gemini hazel eyes see that we have hazel eyes so take how, all of that how it resonates so for some of you this so this will be character traits of your person for some of you you know maybe you have hazel eyes i don't know maybe you're all of these cards they're going to mean something to different people because I have a lot of different people that watch me. So we have Cancer, Lion, Fate, and Hazel Eyes. Okay. Oh my gosh, all these cards are all in like one section. Okay, so um, let's pull a Whispers of Love card for you. Then we're going to go on to the Tarot of the Heart. From there, we'll probably pull a Minara card. Um, and then we'll do some character trait cards from the Who deck. And we'll get a final message from your person and call this a reading, Gemini. All right. All right. What does Gemini need to know about this connection? Tell us more. This is supposed to be up here. We'll put it over here. All right, what else does Gemini need to know? Whoa, they gave you two cards. Okay, so we have number 32, relationship patterns. It takes strength to recognize the need for change. So there's something about your relationship patterns 
where you are repeating a cycle, okay? You're repeating the same things in your relationships with people. So make sure that, you know, you are being aware of your patterns. So if you need to change something, you can, my beautiful Gemini, okay? Because it says it takes strength to recognize the need for change. So if you are beginning to see a pattern emerging, you know, whether that's, I mean, it could be anything, whether that's, you know, fear of attachments, um, fear of abandonment, um, you know, not being open and honest with your partner about how you truly feel about them, um, you know, the same type of person you're attracted to, whatever, whatever that is going to be different for, for all of you. Be aware of those patterns because to be aware is to be empowered. Okay, um, let me see if I can get anything else from this card. So there's a deer on here, which tells me that you are entering a, a really strong period of learning to control your thoughts. You know, I know that in the beginning we were seeing a lot of like being trapped in your own thoughts. I feel like you're working really hard to create that inner peace because the deer represents inner peace. Like it represents peace in your mind, right? Like peace of mind. Um, it also represents gentleness. So it tells me that you are yearning for a different type of relationship. Maybe in the past you've had a lot of turmoil in regards to relationships. And I see now that you're really, really searching for peace in regards to your life and also in your relationships. So the second card that we have is number four. And again, this is the number of the angels. So the angels are helping you both to come into a stronger commitment to each other. And they're, they're leading both of you. This card says you are limitless. You can do anything that you choose. Okay, now this is so true, and especially in the love department, Gemini, okay? Allow yourself to feel loved and to feel romanced and to feel um, whole, and that energy will radiate out from you, my beautiful Gemini, okay? The, the two swans here tell me that this very well could be a twin flame connection. Um, only you will be able to divine that and to know that deep in your heart of hearts when you tune into the beautiful power of your soul, right? But swans for me have always represented a twin flame union. And also unicorns represent a very special connection, right? It's like, you ever, you ever heard the saying, like, it has to be like a, a unicorn, right? Like, I would, I always would tell, and I would say this over and over again, a lot of times in my reading, I will only fall in love with a unicorn. It has to be, you know, a unicorn because like a unicorn, the, per, the type of person I want to be with is a rare type individual, someone who has like extremely an extremely beautiful heart and, and all of these character traits like kindness, compassion, you know, they have to be a humanitarian. Um, they have to be passionate, romantic like me. They have to want that fairy tale love and they have to most importantly want to work on a relationship every day, you know, to continue to renew our love and continue to grow with me. And, you know, to me that was like, wow, that's like a unicorn because it's something that's, I feel like is so rare you know, unless you've actually done the work on yourself and then, you know, you realize that it is possible, right? But in the beginning, when we're unhealed, that type of love seems really rare, right? So, <laughs> I like it. Okay, um, let's pull from the Manara. Nope, we were going to do Psychic Tear of the Heart, right? Okay, let's do this first. Well, you know what? We're going to do the Manara because... I felt drawn to pull something from there. So let's go with what my gut is saying. So let's get a card from the Minara for Gemini. Wow, we're flying. So yeah, like I don't think this reading is going to be an hour long, which is good, but <laughs> I'm surprised. 
Because I have used all my love ducks, and it went pretty quickly. Okay, so that's good. I'm learning to be faster at these. <laughs> Sagittarius, your bonus love read will be next. Loving and trusting yourself. Yes, I love this for you, Gemini. Look at that, number 20. Okay, let me cover those boobies so I don't get flagged on YouTube. All right, please do not flag my video. I'm not trying to be inappropriate. So this is about Gemini learning to trust your beautiful heart, learning to trust yourself. It's about embodying that beautiful goddess or God energy, learning to love yourself fully and being present with yourself so that you can fully give yourself to someone right? You're learning to trust your intuition, whether you're male or female, it's a beautiful energy to learn to love and trust yourself. Because now you know deep in your heart of hearts, Gemini, that your internal compass is working. You know, if you love someone, it's not, it's not going to steer you wrong. Your heart is not going to steer you wrong. Your intuition is not going to steer you wrong. You Love yourself and trust yourself enough to trust your own judgment. And this is phenomenal, okay? So paint yourself portraits of yourself in the most loving, beautiful light because you are a beautiful soul, Gemini. Don't forget that. So paint yourself in that beautiful light, okay? All right, what else do we have for Gemini? Okay, we have three decks left, so it won't be that much longer, Gemini. Hang in there. You're doing great. <laughs> and besides, if you're here, it's for a reason, right? It's because you want answers about your love life. And so let me give them to you. And if something resonates, please share with all your amazing, beautiful Gemini friends. Um, please like the video and subscribe. It's free for you to support me. If you want to book a reading, all you got to do is click on the description box that is below my video. All of my prices will pop up. You click on the Goldie Appointment Fix. And, you know, I do usually have a waiting list, so please be patient, Gemini. There's other ways that you can support me. Check out my Etsy channel, my Instagram, um, and I have two tip jars if you feel so guided to support me in that way. And also a Patreon page, which is only $5 a month. So it's not going to break your pockets at all. But it is a way for you to give me some financial support if you feel so guided to, Gemini. You know, I love all of you. And it also allows me to continue doing this. Okay. Oh, look at that, Gemini. We have number six. This is the lover's card. It's love. Look, it's the lovers. So this is also Gemini energy. You know, the the lovers is the card of Gemini. It is the Gemini card. It's the major arcana card of Gemini. Just like the strength card is the card of Leo, right? So, oh, Gemini, look at this. There's not even any words. We don't even need to explain this. Okay, this is the lovers card. It's both of you growing together growing. Now there's nothing better for a relationship than to grow together, right? I water you, you water me, we grow together. We're like two plants and we're growing together. Now that's what this energy is, Gemini. Look at how happy these people look. It's mutual growth. It's healing together. It's learning together. It's loving together. It's growing together. Okay, not growing apart, growing together. Let's get one more card from here and then we're going to move on, Gemini. Oh, I love this energy for you. One more card for Gemini, please. Thank you, spirits. This has been a beautiful, most delightful reading. Woo! Should we take it? It flipped. 21, embrace. Oh, I love this. Look, there is something growing from this person's heart. Can you see that, Gemini? It's a sprout of love and they're embracing all this beautiful energy. So not only Gemini, 
Are you learning to crack open your beautiful heart and learning to love yourself and therefore love another person deeply and love yourself deeply? But you're learning to love all of humanity, all of all of the beautiful people on planet Earth because you know we're all connected. And even outside of planet Earth, you're learning to love all the aliens and all the star seeds and your soul family and your ancestors and those who have paved the way before you and have passed on. You're just shining your light so beautifully, Gemini. And I need to see what this the 21 card is. It's a major arcana, so I need to tell you what it is. Oh, I think it's the world card. It is. The world card, an affirmation to say with the world card, I acknowledge my many blessings and I'm open to receiving my heart's desires. So remember that, Gemini. Stay open to receiving your heart's desires because you're living them right now, my beautiful twins. Okay? It's so incredible. I love it. I love it. I love it. love it. Okay. So we're going to get some character traits from... The who deck. So that way we can have some more confirmation as to who this person is that you're hoping to have this beautiful future with. They definitely feel the same as you do. They have very strong um, feelings for you, Gemini. So if you doubted this connection at all, please do not. All right, let's go ahead and dive right into this. All right, so we have procrastinator. <laughs> uh, they might be a professional procrastinator, and that's okay. You know, when you love someone, you accept all of their their um, all of their traits, right? You don't just pick and choose the ones you like. You might not like it as much as the other ones, but you do accept them. Because that's what unconditional love is about. We have sports and fitness. So either you play sports or your person does. You guys might both work out. You might find each other at the gym. <laughs> you can find me working out, right? Spontaneous. Look at that. So this is very like fire sign energy. But I know Geminis tend to be very spontaneous as well. So... One of my besties is a Gemini, and I know she's very spontaneous. She likes to live life by the seat of her pants. All right, so we have LGBT, LGB, I can't say this, LGBTQT. So that represents lesbian, gay, bi, queer, or trans, I believe, transgender. All right, let's get one more card. So again, don't freak out. This doesn't mean that your person is gay. Like This is going to resonate with someone, not with everyone. And, you know, for the people that watch me, the Geminis that watch me, this, this half might resonate with someone and then this half might resonate with other Geminis. You have to remember I'm reading for a large amount of people. So different things are going to come out for different people depending on whose energy is the strongest. And we have guilty pleasures. Look at that. Ooh, sexy. So I don't know if this is like guilty pleasures as in indulging in food. It could be indulging in sexual pleasures. Um, take that how it resonates. There's a lot of guilty pleasures um, that a person can indulge in Gemini. So only you will know what that means for you and your person. So, but there's a very strong sexual energy coming off of that card. I'll just say that I don't think it has to do with food. All right. So let's get three final messages from your person. Um, what they want to tell you in their heart of hearts. For those of you that might be in separation from your person right now, this is what they want you to know. This is the secrets in their heart that they don't tell you, Gemini. All right. We have one, two, and three. Woo. I'm messing up my tapestry here. Okay, so the first card that came out says, we've had so many lives and loves together. I told you it felt very twin flamey. 
see Gemini, I know, see, okay, so here, here's why I do my little thing, right, where I say, you know, you know how people say, I don't mean to toot my own horn, but toot, 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 okay, so I'm going to toot, toot, <laughs> because this is exactly why people, why I charge so much money for my readings, because I am good at my job, okay, I am an energy reader. It's what I do. I interpret the energy. And I said, you guys, it feels very twin flamey. It feels like you have known each other in past lives. If it's not twin flamey, then I mean, what else can it be? You guys have had past lives together, past loves together. So what? It's a deep soulmate connection. You guys have known each other. Your souls have reincarnated multiple times. We've had many lives and loves together. So yeah, it feels very twin flamey. You know, maybe someone might argue that it's not twin flamey, but to me, it feels like a twin flame connection. That's what I said in the beginning. Okay, I've been reading tarot since I was 15. I've been reading energy, seriously, my whole entire life. Okay, I, w I was trained to be an energy reader because, you know, my whole entire life, I had to watch for my parents' energies because if I didn't, it meant I could get in trouble. You know, they fought a lot. I had to walk on eggshells. I had to gauge everybody's energy so that I didn't get hurt, so I didn't get slapped, so I didn't get, you know, backhanded or I didn't, you know, get yelled at because they were fighting and I was in the way. I had to gauge everybody's emotions. And because of that, I got really, really good at reading a room and reading energy. And I can read someone's energy when they walk into a room before they even open their mouth, Gemini. This is why I charge $200 for my readings. You know, because I am good at what I do. I am worth it. Anyone that's ever had a reading for me can vouch for that. They'll tell you that. All right. So enough about me. Your light leaves me in awe. Your light leaves me in awe. So they're literally saying, Gemini, the way that you shine blows their minds. They have never seen anyone whose light shines up a room and lights up a space like yours does. It is incredible, Gemini. And it leaves them in literal awe. They get speechless. They get bewitched. They get bewildered. They get flabbergasted. They don't know what to do. They just go, oh my God. <laughs> and they can't take it. It leaves them speechless because it's so incredibly powerful and potent. Oh, it's beautiful. You are so beautiful. This is the last card we have, Gemini. They are extremely attracted to you. They think that you're beautiful, but not just on the inside, not just on the outside, also on the inside. They see you as someone who's incredibly amazing, beautiful inside and out. And there we have that light shining down again. They feel like you're a slice of heaven, male or female. They are completely into you, Gemini. All right, so I hope that you enjoyed this reading, Gemini. Um, yeah, it's been incredible. So you guys earn this bonus read by watching, um, getting the most views on my shorts videos. When I do like the little, the shorts videos for the signs, you guys had the second most views followed. It was Leo first and then Gemini and then followed by Sagittarius. All right, Gemini, I love you. Bye.